We continue now at the top of Daf Samech Dalin Amid Beis and Meseches Nedarim. This is Nedarim Daf 64b. And the previous Amid the Gemara had quoted the Mishnah. The Mishnah says that if you're going to say that a person can create a Pesach, an opening to undo a neder, by saying that he would never have made the neder if he knew that it brought dishonor to his father and his mother, so then you can make the same argument that he would never have made the neder if he knew that it would bring dishonor to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And if that's the case, ain't Nedarim, then there would be no Nedarim. And the question in the Gemara was, what does it mean when it says in the Mishnah, ain't Nedarim? So Abaya says what it means is, is that if, if a person was able to make a Pesach, again using the honor or the dishonor that it would bring to his father and mother or the dishonor that it would bring to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so then everyone's going to say that they would never have made the nether under such circumstances because no one's going to want to admit that they would have made the nether anyhow even though it brings dishonor to their father or their mother or to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. No one would admit it and then the Pesach would not really be a good Pesach so we would undo the nether incorrectly. That was Abaya's understanding of the Mishnah. The Rav and Rava says what it means is as follows. If this was the case, no one would ever ask the, ask the Chacham to undo the neder. Because of course, everybody, nobody would make a neder under these circumstances. No one would make a neder if they realized that it would bring dishonor to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So people would assume automatically any neder can be just undone. What's the need to go to a Chacham? People won't realize they need to go to a Chacham. And the Gemara continues to Nan, we learned in our Mishnah. The Chachamim admit to Rabbi Eliezer if it was a kind of a neder that was made between him and his father or him and his mother. So then, then it's okay to make a Pesach using the honor of his father or the honor of his mother. In other words, it means to say, let's say the neder was something along the lines of that he says his father or his mother is not allowed to benefit from his property. So then you are allowed to use Kvod Aviv and Kvod Imo to undo such a neder. And so the Gemara says, Bishlam ala Abaya. I understand according to Abaya, if the reason why you're not allowed to use Kvod Aviv and Kvod Imo is because we think that nobody's going to want to admit that they don't care about the honor of their father and their mother, but uh, so Bishlam ala Abaya do Amarim Kain ein Nidarim Nitarin. So Hacha Kevin de Ichtzifle, Ha Ichtzifle over here, the guy has such chutzpah already that he's making a neder prohibiting his father or his mother from deriving benefit. So you, you see already he has the chutzpah to do things against his father and his mother. So he would admit if he didn't care about the honor of his father or his mother and so if he says that if they say to the person that had you known this would bring dishonor to your father or your mother would you have made the nether and he says no we can trust him that is reliable because this is the kind of person who does not mind having chutzpah against his father and his mother but according to Rav who says that if you're going to say that you can use this kind of a Pesach no one's going to bother asking a Chacham because it's obvious that, or they'll think it's obvious that they can undo the nether themselves so so here also why should we allow the Pesach again? The person's going to think it's obvious. Why would we say that this Pesach is good just because the nether was between him and his father or between him and his mother? But still, again, the person will think it's obvious and he won't go to the Chacham. And the Gemara says, Amri, the answer as follows, nidre lo lahon chacham poskin. Since all other Nedarim, you're not allowed to use the honor of the father or the mother to undo the nether, and you have to go to Chacham in all other cases, so people are going to realize here also they have to go to the Chacham and therefore there is no problem uh, uh, having a Pesach of using the honor of the father and the mother. In this case, everyone's going to realize, just like every other nether, I go to the Chacham. So to over here, I have to go to the Chacham. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. The Mishnah said, Again, it was Machlokas Tanoim in the Mishnah. Rabbi Eliezer said, you're allowed to make a Pesach using Nolan, meaning using something that it was not something that was true at the time of the nether, but something developed later on. You're allowed to use that later development to undo the nether. Had I known that this would happen in the future, I would never have made that nether that is a good Pesach and the Chachamim said that was not a good Pesach and the Gemara says my time is Rebbe Eliezer what's the reason of Rebbe Eliezer why is Nolad why is it okay to use Nolad as a Pesach Amr of Chisra of Chisra says, the Amr Krakos, the Pasuk says, Ki meisu kala anoshim. It says, when Moshe Rabbeinu was to return to Mitzrayim, he made a neder not to return to Mitzrayim. And then we said, then it was told to Moshe, all of those people who are trying to kill you, they have died. Therefore, the circumstances have changed and you don't have to worry about the neder. And so the Gemara says, Va misa de noladhu. But Misa is something which is nolad. It's a circumstance that wasn't true at the time of the neder. It only developed later on. And we see, Mikan sheposchen benolad. We see from this incident in the Chumash, that you are allowed to make a Pesach out of something that develops later on, just like by Moshe Rabbeinu when he returned to Mitzrayim. And the Gemara continues, So what's the Rabbanan's reason? It seems to be in the Chumash that you're allowed to use Nola to undo a neder. So why do the Rabbanan disagree? 
And the Gemara says, Kasavri, because they hold Hanu mi Maisi, did these individuals actually die? The Yomar of Yochan and Mishim Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, but Rabbi Yochan said in the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, Kom Mokum Shenemar Nitzim Vinitzavim. Many times the Chumash uses the word Nitzim or Nitzavim. Ain on Ella Dasan Vaviram. It's always referring to Dasan Vaviram. And we know that Dasan and Aviram did not die. They were alive in the Midbar. So therefore, clearly the Pasuk does not mean what it seems to be saying. It doesn't mean that these individuals have died. El Amar Eishlakish, rather, Eishlakish says, Shayardu Minichsein. It simply means they became poor, and that's not considered to be nolad. The Rishonim discuss why becoming poor is not considered to be nolad. It might mean that they were poor all along, or it might mean that becoming poor is a common development, and something that can commonly happen is not considered to be nolad. But in any case, the situation is not a case of nolad because they didn't actually die. It's a case where they became poor. They didn't have that power, so Moshe Rabbeinu did not have to be worried. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi says, Kol adam she'en lo banim chashuv kameis. A person who doesn't have children, it's considered like he's not alive. Shenem like the Pasuk says, Havali banim, give me sons, v'im ayin meis anochi. If not, it's as if I am, it's as if I have died, meaning that was Rachel talking about the fact that she did not have children. V'tanim, we learned in Abraisa, Arba chashuv and kameis, there are four people that are considered like they are dead. Ani umetzora v'suma umi she'en lo banim. A person is poor, a person is metzora, has leprosy, a a person is blind, or a person does not have sons, those people are considered kemes. Ani dechsev, and ani, like it says, kemesu kala anoshim, all of those individuals have died, and again, like we just said, it's not that Dosan and Aviram, it's not that they actually died, it's that they became poor, it's as if they had died. Mitzora dechsev, and Mitzora, because the Pasuk says, al noti kames, let her not be like a mace that was talking about Miriam when she got saras, and again, comparing to a mace, comparing to someone who has died. Assuming a blind person, like the Pasuk says, talks about in the darkness, I'm like the dead. So again, you see in the darkness, when you can't see, it's like you're dead. And the Gemara continues, Umisha in Lobanim, somebody who doesn't have children, Dechsev, like the Pasuk says, Havali Bonim, Vimayin Mesa Anochi, bring me children, otherwise it will be as if I have died, and we'll continue with this discussion in the next video. And Dafsamech Hey Amid Aleph.